When nursing students walk into this room, they never know what they're going to find. Today, it's Larry Smith. And he was in a head-on collision at 40 miles per hour with a stationary object. Larry seems stable now, but that's about to change. Oh, I can't breathe and my chest hurts. Larry is Sim Man, a mannequin that simulates patient responses. We're just going to sit you up so you can breathe a little bit better, okay? He takes nursing students through different scenarios so they can try the real thing without the risk. <coughs> Instructors control the dummy through a computer, responding to them as they ask the patient questions. Ugh, I just have this cough. And they get to come in here and apply it in a safe environment so that when they go out onto a hospital floor, they're quick and they respond. You know, reading things in a book and listening to someone tell you is so much different from actually doing it. The medical profession is obviously a high stress environment. All right, no pulse. No pulse. He's in right, good, guys. And that stress is duplicated here. Our stress level is high because we're being watched and we know we're being recorded by our professors. You don't necessarily know what's coming at you, so it really makes you think on your feet. In this scenario, Larry's concerned brother shows up in the room at a critical time. Actually, no, but what happened to him? He was talking right to me now, not even an hour ago. I know he was okay. But right now he's having a bit of a tough time. It's a different dynamic. Um, you're still doing your, your job, which is focusing on the patient, but again, somebody needs to be focused on the family. And when it's all over... He has a pulse, guys. We're okay. He has a pulse. Students and teachers hit the classroom to debrief <laughs> and laugh off some of the stress. And doing self-evaluation is a form of learning that helps them clinically make judgments better and retain knowledge better. It's a win-win for the students and the patients who will eventually be in their care. Well, it'll translate into real life because I know that when I am in that situation, that I won't forget that again. <laughs>